Everybody march there, except you. You stay there. Um. Oh, my son's up for adoption. Uh, for <laughs> adoption. Education, I mean. I can find somebody better. Namely, myself. There we go. So hopefully I come up with some good traits. You have surrendered. Cool. That's fantastic. No. Alright, we're going to get probably a river crossing penalty. Uh, if we hang out here, we might stall him long enough. I don't think they'll be able to destroy our entire army. I caught my son Tiberius lying to me again, straight to my face, without batting an eye. I almost had an innocent servant sent to the stocks. Well, that gives him deceitful. That gives him extra intrigue, but less diplomacy. Honesty gives him... You know what? Deceitful is actually a good trait. So we'll keep it. We'll hold on to it. Alright, come on. Move on up. Oh, you bastards. You cheating, cheating bastards. That's, that's not good enough. Ah, well, whatever. Let's camp out in Danzig so that if they come to attack us there, we have uh, an advantage. Stephanie de Harcourt is now an underhanded rogue. She's kind of meh all around, but that's okay. She's just the daughter. Alright, so we got defeated here. But we now have numbers on our side. He is reinforcing troops, though. So that is unfortunate. How many troops can Flanders give me? That might actually do it. Combine all those up. Hello. Now, let's march this way. We need to cut them off. Attack. Attack. Please catch them. Please catch them. Aha! We have you now. Oh, yes, we do. Oh, yes, we do. Um, you would like to marry who? Yolanda. She has claim on Ashridge. Sure. You're offering me 450 bucks. Of course I'll accept that. Alright, now, can we... What? What? That's what I thought. Count Sten of Vicken was taken prisoner. Great. Now, can we finish this? Can we wipe out this army? I would love it if we could wipe out this army. Not quite. Let's finish the job. Uh, Stefan of Gizeh has declared a war for Prince Gerard's claim on King Beaumont. Okay. Whatever flutes your boat, man. Yeah, my vassals are going to be super pissed about this. They're going to be like, hey, come on, seriously. You've raised our troops for so goddamn long. I'll be like, yes, I know. I'm sorry, but it was for the good of the realm. At age 67, Nicoletta Comenos has died from comp complications of being blinded. Well, that is a damn shame. Let us kill all of these people. We need the land. Smallpox has broken out in Pisa. Well, the doge is old anyway. He's going to die. It's just going to come sooner now. There we go. And now we will take... Oh, hey. There's a new... Grand... There's a new Serene Doge of the Republic of Venice. Alright. That's not really a big deal for us, though. You need to die. Great Holy War for Tarika. This is interesting. This is... This isn't something we've seen very often. The mighty High Priest Temer the First, what's he High Priest of? Oh, Tengri, um, has declared that it is time to teach Emperor Nigel the First of Rome and the believers in the dead crucified God another lesson in humility. All three Tengri men are invited to partake in the scouring of the kingdom of Tarika. Erlik Khan is with us. To arms! To the most despicable Emperor Nigel the First, may wisdom ever elude you. This is a formal declaration of war. Our armies shall meet on the field of battle. Very well. Where do you actually rule? Oh, that is unfortunate. That is unfortunate for you, because I've got a lot of troops over in this area. So, what we're going to do is we're going to raise all of these... Hey! Hey! 
Where's the lady? Boy. No. No, 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 no. She has to be... Huh. Yep, I'm excommunicating him, and then I'm going to try imprisoning him. Good. Uh, actually... Yeah, I might have to fight a, I might have to fight a war against Armenia as well. Let's see if we can't uh, if we can't imprison him. I'd like not to. Oh. <laughs> really? <laughs> For really reals? Um Well, I banish him. I could banish him. I could ransom him. Except he can't afford the ransom. Uh can I execute I can execute him, so hang on. Would it ever go back? I don't think so. I do not think so. It That is a damn shame. Um, well, I can just keep excommunicating people until finally one of them doesn't uh, actually get imprisoned. I'm just gonna kill this entire family line, I can just tell right now. It's gonna be like, fuck all of you, you must die now. Alright, you guys need to get over here to Georgia, and you need to raise your troops. You need to stand firm against the invader. You... No, we won't worry about you. Uh, we need to finish this, like now. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, would you like to come into the fold? You would? That's good. She should be denied communion. Hang on, wait. Who's her heir? Anfroid de Peran. I would accept a Norman ruler. So, I'm okay with this. It's either going to be Gabriella or this kid. Yeah, there we go. That's alright. Is she in line at all? No. No, she's not. Hmm. Oh well. Not a big deal. Might try to orchestrate it so that uh, I end up with my, um, my chosen person on the throne again, but it's not a big deal. I can live with it not happening. Sweet! Vassal Lordship, that sounds amazing. Okie dokie. Um, that should mean that we can create a title, does it not? We can create Pomeralia. You know what? We will. We'll give it to this fellow. Pomeralia. There you go. He's now a doge. Now, hopefully that didn't mess up my line of succession. I don't think it did. Pretty sure we're still good. We'll see. Uh, we've... Yep, that's good. Yeah, they weren't going to be too pleased about that whole raising of the troops thing, but that's okay. We, we can work with it. We can get around it. Can we please have some Armenian troops? We can. Thank you. Now, let's march them all over here. Every single one of them. So, Etil is the primary guy in this, because he's the high priest. We're going to have to kick his ass. Really. Not really worth it, actually. In in hindsight. Kind of, yeah, kind of really not worth it. He's not... Yeah, he's, he's not a big fan of this. I might just have to conquer him. We don't really actually need our Chancellor fabricating claims anymore, because we don't plan to conquer all that much more. It's not its not a thing that's going to happen. Did they win their war? No, they just haven't quite finished it. Uh, yeah, it's not going to be a thing that really happens. We're not going to be conquering all that much more. So how about we see who's in the Independence faction? Nobody interesting? 
Actually, there's not really all that much that we need to do there either. I was going to say we could get him to uh, improve relations with people, but it's not really a big deal. Um, let us try to sow dissent between the Khan of Volga Bulgaria and his vassals. Because I'd like to see... I, I wouldn't mind having Volga Bulgaria as like a, a big a big uh, nation for the EU4 convert, but I wouldn't mind seeing them in a bit of disarray too. So let's get that done. So the Republic of Pomerelia. That's interesting. That's very interesting. I wonder if you could form the Hansa by doing that, or if they have to be German. I don't know. One child likes a guardian, Miranda de Harcourt, my niece. He was very good at stewardship. I might, I might teach her myself too. <sighs> You're very bland. You need to, you need to learn stuff. You need to be better at things, stuff and things. Yes, hello. I see you there. I see you there too. That's cheating. That is cheating. I wonder. Can I raise enough boats? I can. Alright, get on board. Get aboard boats. You stay there. You get there too. Okay, you can't go. Uh, but... You guys can march over that way. Actually, that would be kind of pointless, wouldn't it? Go that way. And then, have we got... Can we raise enough boats from you? No. We can raise your boats, though. You will always have enough boats, King of Greece. You are my boatliest man. Great! That's fantastic. Let's have everybody meet up in the Sea of Azov. We won't do a uh, amphibious invasion, I'm not that foolish, but... We will attack and pin him, hopefully. Alright, combine everybody up. Combine everybody up. Actually, you know what? We have 80,000 80, men. Should be able to do it. Attack! A son was born to Nigel and Princess Miranda of the Dahako Empire named Gerald. Well done. Good job. Attack! Oh, oh, son. Really? I caught my young ward, Prince Tiberius, torturing a rat behind the stables today. No, you must learn about kindness. Good job. <laughs> uh, does that reduce his intrigue? Yeah, it does. It kind of evens things out, though, I guess. Yeah, we amphibiously landed, but that's alright. Pelusia again. Pretty sure they had a rebellion recently. Whatever. You die now. Oh. <laughs> so do they, apparently. Pelusia. I can't remember where that is. You know what? I don't actually need you, I don't think. So you guys can camp out over there. And you guys can camp out over there. Actually, go to Accra again. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Don't need you. Oh, they weren't actually in port. No, that's okay. And you, attack. Where are you going off to? What are you conquering? You're conquering Kurland. Where, where is Kurland exactly? That's Gotland. Kurland. Is it a duchy? It is. It's part of... Actually, I'm pretty sure that's uh, that was part of Prussia at one point. Or at least this bit is. Bit of Prussia and Lithuania, maybe? I think I will let him do that on his own. See if he does well enough. He might. But that guy has a lot of money. Apparently so do I. I gained a thousand bucks right there. Well, closer to 1100, but thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Steward. You are doing your job, earning your keep. There's a new Serene Doge in the Republic of Pisa. We are blitzing our way through these holdings. You, sir, should not have challenged us. Um, I'm sure he's not a heretic. And even if he is, it's not a big deal. He's a baron. Kill. 
Now, let us march forth and kill some more. What is that? There is a different flag there for some reason. Oh, you're just independent. Uh, what, do, what is your capital? Reigning in Itil. So where exactly is Itil? Itil in Itil. Is... Oh, over here on the coast. No, oh, you're just across the Volga. Well, we're at 80% war score already, so I think I'll just conquer my way through this other stuff. Oh, you're willing to surrender already. Well, that's good, because, you know, fuck you. To the glorious Emperor Nigel I, may you live in harmony and contentment. I will, thank you, because I've got a massive empire and you've got nothing. Uh, he will lose some piety, I will gain some piety, we will gain moral authority and prestige. Done deal. The Tengri Great Holy War for Tarika has ended. Tengri, it seems, does not favour the pagan faithful. After a string of defeats and setbacks, High Priest Tema has called off the Great Holy War for Tarika against Emperor Nigel I of Rome. Pathetic. Well, I can't be bothered marching those guys home. We'll only have half of them, but really, at this point, what's our levy? Like, 800,000? Yeah, 865,000. It's not a big deal. We can just not worry about marching everybody home. It's not really a thing that concerns us all that much. Are you having a civil war already? Hmm, sort of. Yeah, yeah you are actually. You idiots. If I give you a kingdom, generally it's a good idea to you know, keep it stable just for a little bit. Oh, hello. What are you fighting for? Do I have to jump in on this? Oh. Well, turns out that my father-in-law is dead. Which means I don't really have a use for you anymore, do I? Um, actually, I'll wait until Tiberius reaches majority, if I can, before I get rid of her. Uh, what are you, what are you fighting for? Prince Guntram's claim on the Holy Roman Empire. Who is Guntram? Is Guntram somebody that I would accept being ruler? Claimants. Guntram, Guntram, Guntram. Where is Guntram? Oh, he's the Duke of Thuringia. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, Depends on uh, how long the war goes for, I suppose. Are they close to winning? I don't know. I'll see. I don't mind uh, them having a civil war. If they want to have a big civil war amongst themselves and weaken themselves before it's time for me to go kick their asses, I'm okay with it. But I will try to... Actually, that's a, that's a point. Am I allowed to offer to help him? Yes, we are technically allies. Yes, okay, so as long as Nigel is alive, I can go to war to assist him. Assuming he keeps the throne. I might go to war to help him, just because. Who declared on him? Colne. So Colne is like right next door to him. He should be able to win that. Colne is these two territories. He should be able to win that war. But in the case that he in the case that he looks like losing, I'll go help him. Bohemia's a bit of a pickle. If Bohemia declares war for something specific, then they might have a bit of an issue. Oh well. In honor of the Empire's recent victory, it would be appropriate to hold a triumph in the capital for the heroic soldiers who fought in the campaign. Yes, of course. Why would we not? Okay. We'll give him a couple of months before we decide on whether or not we're joining in. Who the hell are you? Oh, the Atlas Mountain had... Oh. Oh, well, I didn't even notice that. That is a thing. That has happened. Uh, let us march on them. See if we can't kill them quickly. Matilda de Harcourt, age 44, died in a mysterious accident. I have a theory about what that accident may or may not have been. No, you don't get to leave. You do not get to leave. You stay right there so we can kick your ass. You stay right there. Right there. Thank you. Uh, Simon... Oh, hello. Duke Simon of... Azerbaijan. Really? See, I do all these things for you. I do all these nice things, and you try to kill me. I'm imprisoning you. Thank you. You stay in jail. 
You fuck off. No killing of me. Osmond was captured in battle and is now my prisoner. I have no idea who Osmond is, but great. Good job. Well done. Um, that's okay. He can fabricate a claim all he likes. He can't press it. He won't win. That's generally why I don't bother too much about uh, dealing with those sort of plots, because they can't possibly win against the power that I now wield. When I was a super duke of just Normandy and the assorted territories up here in the north of France, yeah, yeah, they had a shot. But now, not even close. Okay, the war looks like it's going to be indecisive for a little bit, so I'm going to join the war and prop him up. I'm just going to help him, because it looks like he needs it. Uh, let us march this way. Walk this way. Do, 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 do. And apparently we have our daughter up for being educated too. I might... Yeah, I'm going to get rid of Miranda. Miranda can go to... What's she good at? She's good at stewardship. She can go to a good steward. She can go to William. There. Done. And now I will look after you personally. There we go. Okay. Much better. Serene Doge Omri of Pisa has declared a war over some county thingy. Kids have fun. Now, if I remember correctly, these civil wars act like regular wars. You just have to take out the war leader. As long as you do, you should be fine. Oh, hi. That is quite an army that you have there. That is, that is. I may need some help. I'm going to get it from you. Yes, I suspect I'm going to need some help. Typhus has broken out in Napoli, and not a single fuck was given that day. We will combine these armies together, and truces with the Prince of the Timurids is expiring. Speaking of the Timurids, have they managed to get their shit together? They have! Finally! Well, I know who I'm going to be declaring war on next. Alrighty, you guys. Let's see. Let's get some good generals in. I usually haven't really bothered with generals for... Uh, for most of this game because uh, by the time that they became relevant with patches and stuff like that we kind of surpassed the real requirement for them but we'll, we'll try to use them we'll try to use them in this and our war against the uh, Germans the Holy Romans all right let's get over here if we threaten his homeland we can win quickly and decisively so let us threaten his own home he'll have to come fight us then uh, three days, do, do that, two days, hmm, it would appear that this isn't working exactly as I thought it did. Oh, that's column two. Perhaps if we take out both of his counties, we'll be set. I was under the impression that if you conquered all of his holdings, he had to surrender he has no lands to go to. But the war score that we're currently racking up doesn't seem to be all that impressive. Alright, my son Tiberius is not exerting himself in his studies. No, you can't be. Uh, I'm starting to despair. Talk to him about being diligent. Yes. There we go. That's more like it. Well done, son. Well done. Four days. The King of Mauritania has created a title. Well done. Congratulations on your promotion, sir. Though I guess it's more of a side grade, considering that you're already a king. Let us conquer all of the things. Yeah, this is this is not working the way I thought it did. Okay, uh, I guess in civil wars the rules work slightly differently. Maybe you have to conquer. Oh, yeah, I guess that would make sense, because they do technically hold land of the emperors. Alright, well let's see what happens if we liberate everything. You know, I really don't care. Get in the oubliette, damn it. You don't get to have a say on how things are done if you rebelled against me. You can kindly go fuck yourself. Yeah, this doesn't work the way I think it did. Alright, well, we'll just have to help him out by conquering all of the things. Uh, I might disband the vassal troops I've raised, though. Yeah, dismiss the realm levies. Because we currently have 25,000 men. So long as we don't 
allow ourselves to be caught out by a larger superior army, we'll be right. So we'll just march around, conquering stuff. Killing people. Doing stuff and things. Alright, what, what do they occupy? They occupy bits of Wittenberg, Verdun, and Galindia. Alright, well let's get that back. Let's get Verdun back. We'll take Verdun back from the Germans. Um, my prisoner... I really don't care. I am going to let you rot. I'm not going to throw him in the oubliette because uh, he might be required later. I don't care. But uh, I'm not going to give him any special treatment either. He is not deserving of it. He is not. He is not. Um, some revolt. Egypt can deal with it. It's their, it's their land. It's their problem. Thank you kindly. And we will wait here until we have enough to... Conquer the crap out of this. Thank you very much. Uh, what do you want? You want... You would do that to your own daughter? No. Go away. Um, what do you want? No. No. Go away. Although you do need another husband. Um, let us marry you matrilineally to somebody who is good at stuff and things. He's good at stuff. What about Marshall? Do we have anybody really good at Marshall? Yes, we do, actually. The Marshal of Provence. There, done. Done deal. I like it. Uh, we need five more days. Kill all of them. We're up to 28% war score. This is problematic because I would really like to have more. Come on, we're propping him up. We're helping him out. Dude, what do you want? No. Go away. Stop it. Uh, okay. That should be good enough. Now, let us go conquer some more people. There is a garbage truck outside my house. Thank you, garbage truck. Well, this is a good spot to pause for a break, so I'm going to pause until the garbage truck is fucked off. And then when we return, we will help uh, this fellow finish off his war and all those good things and stuff. Stuff and things. With me, Grey Hunter. <laughs>